If you have equipped yourself with the right mindset and you're looking for a light training, then make sure you watch the whole of this video. Now, let's begin with this type of exercise. But before we begin, I want you to picture this. The coat is back in the warm glow of the sun. The tension is palpable and Sun Woon Kun is locked in a fierce rally with his opponent. Now, it's in this moment that Futra emerges as the unsung hero of the game, the, the foundation upon which every exceptional shot is built. Futra serves as the underpinning, enabling him to attain the right position, balance, and time to script each stroke with finesse. As a coach, I've witnessed countless matches where players possess remarkable shot-making abilities, but flatter due to in inadequate footwork. When Sun Wu engages in meticulous footwork training drills, he is fundamentally mastering the art of positioning himself optimally on the court. So why do I find this so crucial? Because uh, being in the right position directly translates to shots that are well con controlled, balanced, and impactful. Also, try to consider the scenario when, where Sun Wu needs to return a visitor himself from his adversaries. His feet lay the ground groundwork of his body mechanics, ensuring that his return is not only accurate but possesses the power and precision required to gain the upper hand in the rally. The harmony between his footwork and stroke execution is what makes the difference between a routine return and a shot that leaves his opponent scrambling. If get sudden uh, shift in momentum during a match. Each hurdle he allegedly clears contributes to his proficiency and imagine the intricate of all court movement. Also, we can see condors as an integral part of his regimen, encapsulate the essence of dynamic foot, and he waves through the cones. He cultivated the skills necessary to adapt shiftly to the ever-changing rhythm of tennis. Much, much. This agility training sharpens his reflexes, fortifies lateral movement, and, and refines his footwork precision. Now, the medicine ball throws enhance his core stability and rotational strength. As he dynamically moves around the cones, the resistance provided by the bungee cord challenges his core muscles to stabilize his movement. Sim sim movement. Simultaneously, the medicine ball throws demand coordinated movement between his upper body and lower body, closely mimicking the integral integrated motions required during tennis match. This correlation between the upper body and the lower body translates to more powerful control strokes on the court. And then, the bungee cord acts as resistant mechanism, intensifying intensifying the workout and requiring him to exert more force against it. The resistance challenged his muscles to work hard, contribute to increased strength and explosiveness. As a result, his overall agility and footwork improve, making him more adept at uh, rapid changes and directional direction during in, direct change in directions during matches. So, the combination of medicine ball throws and cones drills also hones their ability to maintain balance while executing forceful movement. In tennis, maintaining balance is crucial as it, it directly influences the accuracy and control of shots. By introducing this dynamic element into training routine, he essentially sharpens his ability to remain stable during high intensity movement, translating to more consistent and precise shots during the matches. Additionally, the nature of the medicine ball throws requires him to engage in co coordinated movement 
while exerting force. A skill that, a skill that closely mirrors the demands of tennis strokes. The explosiveness and coordination demand through his this training translate to improved shot acceleration and power generation. Ultimately, this complex training technique mal, mal, uh, amalgamates various aspects of tennis athleticism. Sun Wu's body is challenged to uh, harmonize strength, coordination, and balance, and agility while delaying dealing sorry with external resistance now let me put my attention into you when you step into the world of tennis you are entering a realm of finesse power and precision right and every swing in every step in every moment on the court requires a delicate equilibrium of balance right it's this ebb is it's this every balance that uh, Son Wu Kun recognizes as is the linchpin of his performance. It's not just about staying upright. It's about mastering the art of controlled movement that makes the difference between a standard hit and a winning shot. This is what requires this level of workout insanity. Let's break it down further. Have you ever wondered why balance requires why balance excess are so fundamental for functional mobility and dynamic activity? Um, it's because they lay the foundation of every move a tennis player makes. Just uh, try to picture Kuhn changing across, charging across the court. Yeah? responding swiftly to every ball. In those split seconds, his ability to maintain balance uh, becomes paramount. The balance of, of footwork, the twist and turns, they all rely on a finely turned balance that keeps, his, that keeps him grounded. So no matter how fast the game gets, okay, um, now, here is an interesting tidbit. Bones have a habit of growing faster than muscles. It might sound like a random fact, but it's, it has significant implication. As bones lengthen, they create tension on the soft tissues around them. It is, this is where things can get tricky for athletes. And this did this 25 years now, yeah? So, that's why, that's why, sorry, balance, strength, and stability excess are like a safety net. They ensure that his body adapts smoothly to these changes, preventing potential injuries caused by the bones, bone muscles tension mismatch. That's the why. So, um, but let's not stop there. You can now see uh, Kuhn tirelessly pushing his body to become stronger, more stable, and ultimately more powerful. It's not just a, about hitting the gym, it's about continuously resetting the balance clock of his joints. This exercise creates a strong foundation for him to practice and play uh, with a uh, few found balance. So the results, the ability to maintain uh, his poise during those critical moments on the court, even when the, uh, the game gets very intense. Um, the concept of balance body strengthening is like a symphony of movement. Think of cone body as an intricate machine with multiple parts working in union. In unison, sorry. When he trains of, for balance strength, he ensures that every component from his upper and lower extremities of his three dimension core cylinder gets its fair share of attention. This harmonious distribution of stress across his body sets 
uh, the stage of performance that's not only powerful but also remarkable efficient and um, let's and let's, and let's not underestimate the risk of muscle imbalance imbalances though they might not be the primary cause of injuries or performance issues they are like warning signs flowing uh, flashing in the background just take a picture a player lunging for a ball losing their balance and botching and botching sorry the shot the loss of balance during that critical hit can have a, a domino effect from the control of the racket head to the trajectory of the ball Kwon recognizes this and that's why he dedicates himself to exercises that show up these are potential weak spots thus my friend Andreas is the another key player uh player in the game uh, key, uh, key workout in a player's game plan we can all imagine a grueling match that stretches for an hour for hours sorry it's not just about physical stamina it's about mental clarity endurance training uh, helps Kwon stay focused and sharp throughout the match it's it's what gives him uh, the edge when his opponents might be feeling the strain now let's talk about the mechanics of tennis the explosive bursts direction changes and rotation required during a match can be brutal on his body the risk of pulling a muscle or um, stirring a joint in uh, is uh, ever present kong knows this all too well which is why he pays attention to every facet of his body's movement he is not uh, just avoiding injuries my friend he is ensuring that this sorry his body can withstand the demand the big demands of the sport he loves and uh what about so and what about the finesse behind the finesse behind each swing he take yeah it's tennis uh isn't is not about uh brute strength it's about marrying strength with condition condi- coordination sorry with the coordination cons serves and volley rely on a delicate uh balance between his shoulder arms and core muscles it's like a symphony of motion that uh uh that he conducts on his court on the court sorry delivering those shots with precision and power you know some of this strength training and balance workouts are are easy to incorporate that's what i can say in the last thing but professional tennis players like Sun Kwon here have the right ground uh, the right people around them to guide them to guide him sorry so always know your pace have move with your pace what I can say and don't try to mimic the pro like him now when it comes to his form the Korean opts for the semi western grip this grip allows him to strike a balance between control and top spin which are essential for consistent and effective balance play it's fascinating to note that his grip falls somewhere in between the traditional atp tour style and a, a newer generation style of, of forehands as he initiates his backswing kun leads his elbow back this in- initial movement sets the stage of his stroke between a uh, stroke power and precision so what's interesting is that he positioning his racket at the uh, at about a 40, 45 degree angle po- pointing slightly upwards this unique position showcases his adaptation 
of various technique and styles blending elements to suit his playing style. The continuing uh, through the boxing, his, his uh, racket gradually reaches a point where it's almost parallel to the ground. With the racket head directed towards the net, uh, his positioning, this positioning roughly at the angle of 20% allows him to harness significant energy and potential power. At a peak of boxing, his arm is fully extended, creating the necessary space um, for a forceful accelerated swing towards the ball. This aligns perfectly with the hallmark of the modern ATP style forehand, which emphasizes power through acceleration. One of the distinctive features of Kohn's forehand technique is how he employs his wrist to enhance top spin power. Upon contact with the ball, he employs a wrist snap, effectively slapping, snap, s slapping his wrist through the shot. This action generates extra top spin and power, making his shots more challenging and to counter for his opponents. His, this wrist action adds an element of unpredictability to his shots, allowing him to keep his adversaries off on their toes. Sorry. As he follows through, after striking the ball, his swings finishes around his biceps or shoulder area. This follow-through style is consistent with the majority of players contrib contributes to the smooth execution of his front. It also aids in maintaining balance and positioning for the next shot, showcasing his well-rounded understanding of the game. One of his notable strengths is the impeccable timing and preparation. He consistently readies himself early, executing a full unit turn to position his body primarily for the shot. By pulling the racket far back behind his turn, he ensures that his body can call to his maximum potential as the, he makes the contact of the ball. Uh, now, about his self. Kong's racket drop pos position is spot on. He manages to achieve that sweet spot where the racket is perfectly poised for the upward swing. What's even better is how he utilizes pronation of his forearm. This technique adds that extra snap of his serves, making them more unpredictable for his opponents. However, there, are, there is one technical aspect that could use a bit of refinement in, his, in my opinion. It's the angle between his hips and shoulder during the serve. The, the top tire servers in the game, the cream of the cup, really rely, show, uh, really showcase the distinct turns away from the net. The shoulders lead for the rotation more than the hips, while he does not close, uh, he does not quite hit that picture perfect position. In that that is the best server achieve. So, when we talk about the backhand, one of the first things that becomes apparent is his exceptional preparation. It's lighting fast and incredible compact. This preparation allows him to be ready for anything that comes his way, enabling him to counter punch effectively and change direction on the fly. No matter how speedy the ball is Korn's preparation ensures that he is in the perfect position to respond. Moving on his footwork, it's a critical aspect of his backhand prowess. As you watch him play, you'll notice that he steps forward assertively into the court. This is not only helps him close the gap between him and the ball, but also establishes a solid base. He, his stance is wide and strong, allowing him to harness maximum energy from the ground. He, this energy transfer is vital for generating power and control in his backhand shots. Speaking of his stance, it's interesting to observe that he employs a closed stance. While this might seem counterintuitive at first, it's not actually a tactical choice that works remarkably well for him. Being right eye dominant gives him an advantage here. 
He can uh, maintain excellent visibility of the ball on the court even in his position. In, uh, sorry, in this position. I can say this is an, a testament to his ability to adapt and make the most out of his strength. Now, let's dive into the motion of his backhand. It starts with the distribution of his weight. As the ball approaches, he shifts his weight into the back foot. This slight delay in a weight transfer helps him to get to set up a, a, a ideal timing of his of the shot. As the the ball bounces, his racket begins begins its uh, forward swing. Where here is where an interesting detail comes into play. His racket head drops below the weight, the height of his wrist. This intentional drop of the of, of the wrist allows his um, hand to work effectively through the shot, adding an extra layer of uh, control. So as the racket accelerates through the shot, you'll notice his follow through is something to behold. It's remarkable how far in front he extends his arm. Uh, this extension is not only about com complete, uh, completing the stroke but also maintaining balance and stability. His left arm remains fully extended. Well, after the uh, point of contact with the ball, this is testament to his discipline and maintaining proper technique throughout the entire of his shot.